Okay, we're here with Mike Zumbeck from Dark Shadows Home. What's he got to do? All right, and uh, tell us a little bit about. I'm trying to talk a little loud to get over all the ghouls here. <laughs> tell us a little bit about what you've done here, and some of your experience with this stuff, including your uh, work for the Reaper. Reapers. 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 Uh, what I've been doing, I've actually been doing this for 10 years. Uh, started out, you know, small, a couple tombstones, graveyard. Uh, about five years ago, we decided to actually do the garage, a little walk. I, with the yard, I want to do just, you know, one theme, which is like, like an ancient graveyard. All skeletons taken over. You know, you won't find, you know, nothing gory in the graveyard. A graveyard's graveyard. So vain coffins, you know, guys that jump out of nowhere, hang from the tree, like I said, skeletons taken over. Now the garage. It's where you know you find different stuff where you got the dungeon scene where it's all gory, um, you know, the horrors through your walkthrough. Um, you know, I just I build everything. Um, we're actually in a, in a club, there's a few other homeowners that we all get together. Um, we'll be knocking out skeletons in January. <laughs> so, you know, we do it all. Everything runs off compressed air. Um, you know, and with the uh, you know, air cylinders, valves, um, you know, little controllers, everything's controlled on the computer. So it's pretty pretty high tech stuff, you know. I've been doing it for a couple of years. What have you done for the Reapers Realm? Uh, what I did for Reapers Realm, they they have haunted woods. I built a lot of the graveyard stuff because that's you know me what I specialize in. Uh, build skeletons that move on the ground. One guy that jumps out. Uh, I got the skeleton over there that jumps out of the the guy that spits spits the water jumps out of the casket. Uh, built that and then also built the hopping drum for that. All so, right. So definitely Let's, you know, uh, trying to get my name out there. Okay. Yeah, we have to say we went to Reaper Realm a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it was yeah. excellent. It, it was, was great. Excellent it was too. One of the best. Yeah, you probably seen it, seen some of the stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. We did. Oh, yeah. They had the, the verse that you went through the back. Yes, yeah, the verse. They had uh, built a coffin in the back. Yeah, it was, I looked at. I checked that out for a while. <laughs> yeah, they the coffin in the back. Built that for them. Uh, they had a coffin in the graveyard. Every, the only thing with them, they, I built everything animated. They never turned it on. Oh. It would be better if they had it plugged in, you know. But, sure. Sure. No, it's still, it's still cool, you know. Yeah, All right. Let's uh, let's get to the meat of this subject. Let's have him show us some of the stuff what he actually did. All right, give us a little tour of what you've done out here in the yard. You want to follow me. Everything runs off motion sensors. Uh, so as you're walking by, you hit the motion sensor and this casket kind of thing. Okay. Also got guys up in the trees. Um, you know, I tried to modernize it. I the whole, like, Does he move? Monster um, energy drink can, yeah, which he's had his motion sensor. Should be going off here in a minute. Um, oh, he's he's motion sensor. All motion said. sensor. Would you tell all on a delay? There goes head moves. There he goes. I think he's gonna shit spit and miss the water here in a second. There it goes. And you built that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right. Hand. What else we got? What's this uh, one over here? What this guy does? He does. This is the guy I copied for Reaper's Realm. What he does? Jump, jumps up, and then spits and miss the water. He's got him on a delay, which he goes off like every two minutes. Uh, that's like, you know, this guy will be going off the brains guy. He's, he's a common prop. Um, what it does is acts like the you know, brain's brain starts thrashing like he's coming out of the ground. Uh, another animation. And this one's two minute delayed, you said? Yeah, that, yeah, that's on quite, quite a quite But he should delayed. come any second, right? He's, is he motion sensor or just goes? Yeah, it's not a motion sensor. But, you know, just so the little kids don't keep, you know, walking in front of it, you know, like <laughs> with their hands. Yeah, like here's the brain sky that'll be going off, thrashing like he's coming out. Where'd you get the soundtrack for the the brains and stuff? Did you make that yourself? Uh, actually, somebody in the in the club room. Uh, he does custom voiceovers, and he was the one that did the voiceover for me. All right, let's go uh, take a look at the rocking chair one. This is one ain't coming out. That's the coffin again. The well, rocking chair is on a on a repeat timer, so instead of you know usually we have lines here, you know instead of you know everybody going for a motion sensor every 30 seconds it goes off. Which I actually got the arms on a swing motion. So when, he, when she comes up, you know, the granny swings her arms out. All right, um, how about. Also, a guy that's trying to come out of the graveyard actually built him out of a back massager. A back <laughs> yeah, massager? A back massager. Something, something you never think of, and, you know, simplest. Uh, there's the granny. The arms that swing out. She's coming up off the rocking chair. If you can see back here, she's, and she'll sit back down in a second, right? Oh, yes. 
Yeah, everything's run off the, the compressed air, and you can see the cylinder. Oh, we got the uh, bushwhacker, that guy jumps out. Okay, there's a bushwhacker right there. He comes in and out of the bushes, which is cool because he opens up, you can't see him. Oh, yeah. yeah That's really nice. And then, bam, jumps up. And then there's a guy back here that and comes he out. Up all, all the there's the bushwhacker jumping up, and there's yeah, the one in the coffin just up. jumped up. All right, you want to take us through the. Uh, yeah, definitely. Is it going to light up in there pretty good? It's on night shot, so it should be okay. Is somebody controlling the drums out here, or is that him in there? Okay. okay. Stop that. Okay. So as we walk through, we're trying to do a, a forest area. Um, we'll have to always have to love the forest area. Got stuff here. Camouflage netting. Of course, got the fog machine that had the effect. And a bridge, you built a bridge. Got the bridge. Also got, got the water, so it seems like we're going over a pond. All the leaves and stuff. Uh, there's usually an anchor right behind here. We got the water snakes to add to the, add to the detail. There's an anchor right there's there. There's a whacker right there that comes out and reaches to grab yeah, out yeah, at you. They'll be looking at the snake, and I'll have an anchor come out, you know, like reaching at him. Usually a good effect. Skeletons on the wall. Music, scary music playing here. Some hands now. Here we we get into the gore of the matter. <laughs> so yeah, now now we're the gore. You know, we still you think blood parts, you know, bloody gory, Halloween stuff. So still had to incorporate that. Um, we're trying to do this more like a dungeon area theme, where there's you know blood guts, you know like torture area. Uh, got the you know old chest full, torture table. You know, shelf for old knives, wallets, cutters, or paintings. You know, you name it, whatever you think would be in a torture is what I try to incorporate in here. And then when you come in, you get now, the... Now the main hit is what the drum is. I just want to set it up for you. Usually, you know, it's not, not an average scare, something jumping out at you. Or like an out noise maker. Uh, so something different I came up, you know, wanted to do. You know, instead of jumping out, nobody expects a drum to jump up, so uh, it kind of scares everybody. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's even the one. brave ones, you know, they're like, you know, the kids that are straight out of high school thinking they're hot stuff, you know, like, bam, you know, <laughs> you know, with their girlfriends. It's pretty funny. And then show us the way out. I uh, just got the way out, you know, the exit sign just open. When people hear that, they storm the hell out of here, so. <laughs> So this was in uh, Orland Hills, and what's the address? Uh, 16741 South 88th Court, Orland Hills, Illinois. You can check us out. We got pictures, um, our address on there, dates, times. And definitely check us out. And if you're interested in somebody who can do this kind of stuff, here you go. And once again, your name was Mike Zumbeck, Orland Hills, Illinois. And you can contact him through the website, right? Yeah, correct. And my old, uh, email address is uh, darkshadowshh at aol.com. All right, so uh, thanks uh, yeah, yeah, no for problem. the interview. And again, anybody who wants to get a hold of him for this kind of stuff, he got your information here. Thank you.